Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 4th of April 2023 and I don't know if you can see it but it's a gorgeous day. We've had a couple of really lovely days here in the southeast of England. Got no idea what it's like in the rest of the country but it really is the first couple of spring-like days. It's kind of blue sky and sun from early in the morning right the way through till sundown really and well today it must be a good 16 18 degrees out there uh, i'm getting i'm pretty sort of hot just sitting here in this jumper but it's amazing because just last week you might remember i was moaning on about all of the rain and how spring hasn't really yet shown itself i only needed to wait a week and here we are and doesn't the world seems so much better when the sun's shining i don't know what it is i, I suppose it's just uh uh yeah it must be the sort of rays the sun rays or something in the sun that really just wakes something up in you and just makes you feel glad to be alive really and ready to get out there and fight the nonsense even harder which is what i'm planning on doing so, uh, one bit of news for you is not this coming Saturday, but the following Saturday, the 15th of April, midday, 12pm midday, Trafalgar Square in London, there's a uh, basically a rally against the proposed ULES extension in London, and I think it's been put together by the Together organisation or they've got something to do with it but anyway there's going to be an event there so if you're interested in going and if you went to Oxford you may well be interested in this it's probably going to be uh, hopefully as big as Oxford if not bigger as it's London and yeah, I am going to uh, do my best to get along to that. There's no reason, I don't think, why I can't go. So I will be there myself to do my usual filming and commentary on it and, well, offering my support as well. Because if there's one thing we need to show these powers that shouldn't be, it's, well, we just need to tell them we do not consent with their nonsense and as I saw someone saying in a recent video that I saw, don't know who it was, can't remember, but they were just saying the word no has so much power to it. That's all we have to do. We just need to say no. And if we can do it in big enough numbers, there isn't a thing the powers that shouldn't be can do about it. And that's why... I'm so keen on going on these kind of rallies, these uh, things like the Trafalgar Square one I've just talked about. And also it's why I'm keen on sort of learning from people like Mark Devlin and um, Fergus O'Connor Greenwood and people like them because they've got a really good handle on what, makes these powers that shouldn't be tick you know these globalists elites whatever you want to call them uh but they aren't that imaginative and they kind of operate in a very specific way which kind of makes them vulnerable because they always have to signal to you what they're uh, planning on doing um so now we know the signs to look for the more we spread them, uh, you know, the sort of more we can counteract their stuff, you know, the stuff they want to do to us. So it is one of the reasons why I'm going to a lot more of these talks now and filming them as well and kind of, you know, getting the content, uh, you know, online for you guys. And with that said, I've got a... Well, I've got the Mark Devlin talk that I shot on uh, Saturday night. That is ready for you. It's going to be, well, what I'll do in the description box below here is leave a link to my website. So it's uh, fairplaynow.com. 
dotnet slash must i'll put a link to that so you don't have to remember that but uh yeah once you kind of click on the link go through to my website you'll just click on a big red button there and that will take you through to my rumble channel and you'll see uh mark devlin's talk on madonna and it is very revealing uh quite spooky in places quite creepy the i did tease you a little bit yesterday gave you know, left you on a cliffhanger uh, sorry about that, but at least the video is ready for you to go and look at. And the bit I was talking about uh, actually comes in from the 25-minute mark up to the 29-minute uh, mark. So there's a four-minute section in there, which I think you'll find particularly mind-blowing, particularly creepy. And what you're looking for is when Mark's talking about Madonna's... Uh, justify your love justify my love uh whatever that song of hers was called it's uh it's about that song anyway so do look out for that and i think you'll be uh blown away by it really so like i say the link will be in the description box below there now i've also talked about this uh, fergus o'connor greenwood and um, I left a link to one of his talks that I filmed uh, a month or two ago. I might like, actually leave a link to that in the description box below as well. Um, or if you go through to my website, I think it's actually the one below Mark Devlin's latest one. So, uh, so that you can watch both of them and have a bit of a binge if you like. But I, since then, I actually got in touch with Fergus. Um, the lady who organised Mark Devlin's talk in Wallington, I think she's trying to get Fergus to do a talk at the same place there in Wallington. Um, so uh, she's going to let me know if that happens. But if it does happen, it's probably going to be, I'm guessing, probably sort of June time, I'd, I'd say. You know, two or three months away. So do look, look out for that. But in the meantime, I've got this little bit of uh, light reading here. <laughs> It's only going to take me, well, only take me about five minutes to read that, won't it? I uh, don't know how many pages there is in here, so it must be loads and loads of pages. Uh, well, um, let's have a look. Oh, sort of, must be looking at about seven, eight hundred pa uh, pages here. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to read that. It looks very, very interesting, and like I say, uh, apparently this book, uh, what's the title of it? 180 Degrees, Unlearn the Lies You've Been Taught to Believe. So uh, um, that's it there, and that's the uh, the title. And yeah, it's basically, I think the premise of this book is, the reason why it's called 180 Degrees is because uh, the world we know, or think we know, is just built on lies so many lies that you're best off just flipping anything you hear from the government the mainstream media uh the powers that shouldn't be and just flipping it 180 degrees and then you'll probably be closer to the truth so that's where he gets the title from and i was just giving it a quick fix through and uh right away i, I came across a quote in here uh which is just so true let's just see if i can um, find it here uh, yeah here we go uh, the smart way to keep people passive and obedient is to strictly limit the spectrum of acceptable opinion but allow very lively debate within that spectrum so that's a quote that he got from Noam Chomsky the common good 1998 and Basically, what you're looking at, that narrow spectrum, I don't know if you can see it there, uh, that there, um, yeah, it's sort of left and right, uh, that sums it up, doesn't it? So, you're not allowed to go anywhere beyond that 
very narrow spectrum of left and right. You know, you can't go up, you can't go that way, you can't go down that way or that way. You've got to go backwards or forwards. No, you've just got to uh, go left or you've got to go right and not really look any further beyond that. And, well, you know, we all know how lively debates between the left and right can get. So, yeah, I uh, just... Think about that, you know, next time you're having a go at someone for having the opposite view in politics, and you're, you know, maybe you're sort of uh, a very left-wing person and you're having a go at uh, uh, a right-wing person or you're a very right-wing person doing the same, uh, just remember that all of this is designed to keep you obedient and passive, as Noam Chomsky just said there in that quote so very interesting you know, that, that is just literally picking that up I don't even know how I came to that page I just opened it and just that quote just jumped out at me so if I got that just from doing that I think uh, after I read the whole book um, well my head's probably going to be exploding but I'll be uh, have a lot more knowledge about how this world works because that, that's so true you, yeah, why is it always just about left and right? And yeah, it's just about control, isn't it? Control, control, control. That's all these people want to do. That's how little they think of you. That they just want you snapping at each other's heels and not looking at the bigger picture, really. So that's why I think getting educated on it, and I'm going to sort of do my best. I'm going to try and go and film a lot more of these people, read a lot more of these books, uh, maybe interview some of these people as well, and just absorb their content, you know, learn as much as I can about how the powers that shouldn't be operate. And then once we know their modus operandi, well, we can kind of... Uh, uh, fight back and we can just start saying yeah we know what you're up to we know what you're trying to do and the answer is a big fat no <laughs> anyway uh, a little bit of a I don't know if you'd call that a rant probably a good natured rant as I'm in a good mood today with the sunshine here but I'll leave it because you've got uh, quite a bit to go and investigate there you've got uh, uh, the Mark Devlin talk, highly recommend that. That is very, very revealing. He talks about uh, the darker aspects of Madonna, but also he talks about the strange circumstances surrounding the deaths of uh, Prince Michael Jackson and George Michael. If you ever thought those three guys, uh, their passing was a bit, you know, a bit suspect, maybe not quite all we were told they were, they kind of were. Uh, I think you'll uh, get a lot out of that film as well. But also do check out, I'm pretty sure it's one right underneath Mark's talk on my website, uh, the Fergus one. His talk is very good and it just gives you a very brief taster of what this book's all about. And by the way, if you want a copy of Fergus's book, I think you can get it paperback probably for a bit cheaper from Amazon but instead of supporting them I like to go to these guys kind of direct if I possibly possibly can uh, which is what I did I've got Fergus's email uh, I can't really give out the email here but if you're interested in buying the book email me and what I'll do is, you know obviously sort of say you want to buy Fergus's book and then I'll collect the email addresses and forward them on to Fergus so he can then contact you you can then give him your address and your payment details and all of that and yeah you know then uh, buy the book so if you want to do that please email me at tim at fairplaynow.net or just go to the contact page on my website so I think I've uh, talked long enough there. Let you go and do all those things and watch those videos. And I'll be back tomorrow. Tim from Fair Play Now. Thanks for watching.